Trudeau is coming for your wallet in 2023 with five federal tax hikes. The CPP tax, up. The EI tax, up. The carbon tax, up. The alcohol taxes, you guessed it, up. And Trudeau is also going to be imposing a second carbon tax through fuel regulations in 2023. So let's break down the numbers. Yes, the government is increasing the tax-free portion of our incomes, but expect your payroll tax hikes to be even bigger than that. If you're making $67,000 or more next year, then you're going to have to pay an extra $255 through the CPP tax. Your employer will also have to cough up an extra $255 to the government. You're going to also have to pay an extra $50 through the EI tax, while your employer will have to pay an extra $70. But even these tax increases downplay just how painful payroll taxes will be in 2023. So in total, if you're making $67,000 or more next year, you're going to be paying about $4,700 in payroll taxes. Your employer will have to cough up about 5100 bucks in payroll taxes to the government. The Trudeau government is also increasing gas prices and heating bills through its carbon tax hike coming April 1, 2023. Trudeau's politicians like to claim that families will be better off with this carbon tax and rebate scheme, but yeah, that's magic math. The parliamentary budget officer shows that the carbon tax will cost the average family between $402 all the way up to $847 in 2023, even after the rebates. And the government is imposing a second carbon tax through fuel regulations in 2023 that could add 13 cents per liter to the price of gas by 2030. The government's own analysis shows who is gonna feel the most pain from its second carbon tax. Lower and middle income Canadians, Canadians who are already struggling with energy poverty, like single mothers and those seniors living on fixed income. And oh, by the way, there are no rebates with the second carbon tax. Now, if all of this is driving you to drink, well, I've got some more bad news. That's because Trudeau is going to be reaching deeper into your pockets every time you buy that bottle of Pinot to enjoy with your better half or pick up that case of Keith's to enjoy with your buddies anytime you just want to enjoy a nice glass of rum and Coke. Now, these tax hikes are going to leave you with a hangover in 2023, but it doesn't have to be that way. While Ottawa has been raising your taxes, 51 other national governments have been cutting taxes during the pandemic or to ease the pain of inflation. More than half of G7 countries, more than half of G20 countries, and two thirds of OECD countries have cut taxes. Now, Trudeau is already on track to spend $20 billion over budget. Let's put that into perspective. If Trudeau just kept on track with his big spending budget that he tabled in April, there'd be enough money to cut the sales tax from 5 to 3% and still lower the deficit. So here's a New Year's resolution challenge for Trudeau and his band of bureaucrats in Ottawa. Stop wasting so much money and start cutting taxes.